don't have to keep bringing me stuff. Do you want it or not? I am kind of thirsty. Thanks. Hey, hold on. I'm good. Chilling. Just like my brother will be when the best doctor in the world fixes him up. Good as new. Black coffee? Oh, you are a godsend. I think we're in for a long wait. I think Craig said the operation could be a few hours. Well, the nurse will keep us updated. Excuse me. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, Matthew called me. What's going on? I thought Sean was stable. Greg found a bullet fragment in the base of Sean's brain. If it moves before Greg gets it out... Oh, honey, I'm so glad that Matthew called me. That he would even think about it with everything going on. Hey. Hey, you. Thank you for calling me. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. You understood that families need to be at their best when the times are at their worst. You better use a diamond cutting drill back there. You know, your brother's got a dome like Fort Knox. <laughs> what I'd better do is get this bullet frag out fast before these delusions of grandeur get out of control. Delusions? Sad, huh? She's gonna put you under now. I'll see you in a few hours, little girl. Seriously, Greg. There's no one else in the world that trusts more than you. I'm gonna have you count backwards from the morning, okay? 100, 99, 98. Excuse me, I, I'm Nora Buchanan. I'm Matthew and Rachel's mother. Hi. We know who you are. I'm sorry for what you're going through. I appreciate that. <laughs> My wife and I know what you and Matthew's father are going through. Uh, with his lawsuit. And that it was our destiny who suggested it. <laughs> she wasn't trying to cause trouble. She just cares a lot about your son. Mm, yeah. Sometimes there's just no stopping that child from <laughs> saying whatever comes into her head. <laughs> I know where Sean's taking you on your special date, but I won't blow the surprise so that way he can still take you when he's better. Can I tell you something? You're so much cooler than Sean's ex. I'm not. You know what? I am not worried about our date. I just want your brother to kick this surgery's butt. KO first round, you know? Sean and Greg, they're like the ones who punch. Don't worry. They've got this. So, are we ready to begin? I am. Vivian? You're not part of this team. I'm observing. Says who? Says the chief of staff. That waiver allowing you to operate on your own brother? I guess you didn't read the fine print. My relationship to the patient is irrelevant. Look, I know you like to think of yourself as super surgeon, but you're human just like the rest of us. If you hesitate for even a second in a crucial moment, your, your brother could die. If I don't perform this surgery, my brother could die. I know which odds I like. Cue the music, please. So, let's see what's going on inside my brother's head. Remember this one, bro? Borrowed my Inner Visions album trying to front to your friends that you were so retro. Thing is, you straight jacked it from me. But if you think you're getting away with that five finger discount, think again. Because I'm charging you for it. Plus interest. Greg's already done, and they're just up there in the old wall arguing about something stupid. They've always fought over everything, even girls. Oh, this is one of my favorite pictures. Can't believe my boys were ever that small. Oh my God, were they always close? Two boys. Ah, oh, yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, they were always going at it over some foolishness. <laughs> but if somebody else tried to step to one of them. They were very protective of each other. Ooh, yeah. See, that's how I knew there was lots of love between them. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, man. Hey, are you okay? 
I didn't get a chance to talk to you after your testimony. Ah, you mean my meltdown. Oh, come on, you don't know from meltdowns. You didn't get thrown in jail for contempt of court. <laughs> Still, I'm sure I didn't help your case at all losing it like that. I'm so sorry, Mom. You have nothing to apologize for, sweetheart. I'm just worried about you. Talk to me. I am just so embarrassed. About? Greg playing it safe, the whole sex tape thing. Uh, what? Well, what sex tape? Oh, it's what? not really a sex tape. It's it's a long story. I have time. We went to dinner. Sean and me and Greg and this other woman. And I don't even know how we got on the subject. Greg just started going at me about playing it safe and missing out on life because I was too scared to take risks. I mean, where the hell does he get off? Mom, he's right. That is how I've lived my life for a really long time. Okay, so what about the sex tape? Seriously, there's no sex tape. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just, you know, David Vickers, and he's got that new reality show, right? Oh, yeah. Believe me, I know. Yeah, well, his camera crew caught Greg and me in an awkward moment. He's not even supposed to be in the house. What, what kind of an awkward moment? <laughs> Nothing happened. Really, it was just we were playing that stupid Z-Fit video game, and I fell, and Greg caught me on top of him. And there were... Sparks between you? Yeah. More than there are between you and his brother? I didn't mean for it to happen. Of course you didn't, sweetheart. Well, you know, when I figured it out, I didn't think it was fair to keep things going with Sean. And just now, before he went and see the OR, he told me that he was in love with me. All right, Joe. Yeah. And I didn't say anything. I let him think that he had a future with me. Of course you did. He, he needed some hope to face what he was about to face. Yeah, but that hope is a lie. Well, uh, you'll tell him the truth when he's strong enough to handle it. Isn't that just rationalizing? No, no, it's really not. Believe me, in the end, as long as you do tell him the truth. But there are times in life, and this is one of the few times, when withholding the truth is actually less harmful than telling the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. If you save that for him, I'm sure he'll want to keep it as a souvenir. Well, we just need to run a CT scan and then we can close up. So I guess you're as good as you say you are. Super surgeon good or simply mere mortal? Dr. Evans was able to remove the bullet fragment. Is Sean okay? Dr. Evans is doing a final exploratory. I'll give you an update when I can. Thank you. This is good news, right? So far. But it's not over till it's over. What did I tell you? There's nothing my brother Greg can't do. Uh, Sean was really worried about Star and Hope. He's going to want to know if everything's... Say no more. I am on it. And hopefully... When Sean wakes up, I'll be able to tell him that everyone was safe and sound from that warehouse. Okay? I love you. Love you.